Alrighty, PG-13 and we'll be looking at the uh, how you say bivouac mountain howitzer and watchtower but this is friggin awesome this is a tow behind vehicle the mountain howitzer it comes with three rounds you can actually put one in the, the cannon but it doesn't shoot off and just so you can have a nice closer look you load it up it would have been cool if they could fire it off but then for sure all these pieces would be missing <laughs> let's have a, a nicer look at this howitzer here wow so it does have a nice tow hook you can tow it behind your vamps or tanks and it's pretty cool I pity the fool I pity the fool who wants to mess with my howitzer Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and these shells here you can remove and those are obviously some of the parts that go missing in the mountain howitzer but it is nicely designed I mean it does stand the test of time and it does come with I guess say a few little things I think there is some binoculars or looking glasses <laughs> whatever you want to call them field binoculars probably would be a, the better terminology but it was a cool how you say howitzer and this is part of the battle stations that they had I mean you know they should have well they should have included this. They should definitely make another one of these in future lines to come. Make some more of these tow behind vehicles because they're friggin awesome. Now the D tower or watchtower. All along the watchtower. Let's just move this out of the way there. The watchtower did not come with the figure nor did the howitzer. Watchtower is pretty cool. This little door here opens. However, I don't think you use it as much. You just probably put the figure in there. There is some small detail in there. <laughs> but one of the stupid things that G.I. Joe did was make these. And they only made it, you know, no articulation. If they would have made this two points and swivel while it was stationary, instead of just cheap cheaping out, then that would have been cool. So there's a future upgrade for uh, Hasbro if they're listening, is to make this a two-part piece. And these also did come with the G.I. Joe headquarters. I forgot to mention that in the video. They, the headquarters, I think, had two of these and two spotlights. Or maybe three. <laughs> uh, three of each. But again, they're kind of pointless. They just sit in one thing and you have to use your imagination. So you have on the tower, or the watch station, <laughs> uh, you have a spotlight. There's no glass inside. And the tower is pretty plain. It's not too large. I mean, they should have made it just a little taller, you know. That would have been a little bit more awesome. But it all clips together. And a lot of these clips do break over time. So. You have to be careful. It does have a flag. Get that in the picture. And this is the American version. Canadian, American. It's all G.I. Joe. And G.I. Joe is all good. Oh, yes. So that's it for the watchtower. You can put your sniper in there, like low light, or other figures, like ambush. Uh, now we're gonna look at the bivouac but, I mean I just love the detail sorry I just love the detail in this howitzer or mountain howitzer and hmm it's freaking awesome like and yes I did pick up Mr. T Mr. T I pity the fool who wasn't missing my howitzer 
he was, I think, 1983 or 1982. I did have the A-Team, and the A-Team was awesome. And that's a subset that should have been included in G.I. Joe. Like, I hate the fact that they're trying to incorporate Transformers when G.I. Joe is more of a military line, so they should stick with, like, military-type figures. Like, what would be more compatible with G.I. Joe would be the A-Team. Or MASH. Or Aliens for the futuristic part of G.I. Joe. Like... That, to me, is more compatible with G.I. Joe. <laughs> Even Robocop. And the Terminators, definitely. Like, you know, get, a, get on that Hasbro slash Disney. Get on that, uh, get the licenses for those toys. <laughs> oh, even the, the fake version of G.I. Joe, which was Leonard. <laughs> get some of those uh, but uh, I think it's globular globular whatever the hell it was <sighs> but anyways this is this is I just love this this is I want to get more of these howitzers anyone wants to donate one feel free to but this is definitely a must-have for your collection like a lot of these little sets are if you can get a few of them that would be awesome but we're going to look Oh, and this is the other part I have. I have the machine gun part for one of the sets, but I don't have the set. The bullets do slide. If you push hard enough. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> but, again, they didn't keep the figure's hands in mind. So there should have been a groove in here. If I get an extra one of these, then I'll try to modify it. I usually don't want to modify everything. The looking glass is a two-stage part, see, like... You know, they, they did have the technology to make two parts, so they could have made that with those machine guns and spotlights for the tower. But, again, someone's just pumping it out. And the whole reason why um, Hasbro was a lot cheaper for vehicles and parts is because we assembled them. They didn't come assembled. You look at the other toy lines that are making toys, and they're fully assembled, and uh, they don't cost nearly as much compared to what some G.I. Joe's are nowadays. <laughs> so you you look at the actual size and details and anyways we'll get on with the bivouac. The bivouac has some pretty cool stuff there. It's got a, a little how you say well this is a field outpost it's right on there it says so. <laughs> it says so to us. <laughs> anyways this is awesome. The field outpost does have a lot of stuff. It's forward observation post with light, gear, and rocket launcher. It's a rocket launcher. This is awesome. Bivouac. B -b 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 Bivouac. <laughs> That's like a rap song. Anyways, it has lots of parts. We have a bed or a cot for sleeping or for treating your patients. See, they should have made this bigger tent and uh, they should have made a medical tent. Make this a larger tent and make it a medical tent because, you know, that would be that would be the best way to go. Like... Now here they have a... Uh, there's a bag and I think there is a canteen. Ooh. That's right, and there is a little rocket in here. It's not rocket! It's not rocket! <laughs> oh, this doesn't look too much like a rocket. It looks like more like a mortar shell. <laughs> Just oversized. Anyways, it's kind of cool. It does sort of stay. But it probably wear out of time. It does have the slots in there. But anyways. We're not going to be... It, it is a fragile part. We also have the... Uh, hold on. The, the oversized for your figures. You can't put these in their hands. So it's kind of useless. So you probably just put weapons in there instead. I mean, you got a shovel, machete, and an axe. <laughs> They're going to expect some... How you say? Chop some firewood. And we have the uh, little antenna. That goes in there. And this is a field radio, a ham radio. 
And again, there's no other parts, you know, like they could have made a little phone. You had a phone with Saboteur. But again, this is 1984. So the technology was not used too much there. But this is pretty cool. I, mean, I just love this stuff. You know, the tower. The tower should have been made larger. I definitely think so. And if all of you out there concur, let me know in the comments if they should make like a mash tent or a mash unit for G.I. Joe. I mean, that would be awesome. You have Major Houlihan, you know, Captain Hawkeye, Pierce, BJ Honeycutt. Come on, you gotta bring it in. And you could have Larry Hama, because he was in MASH. Yo -ho. So you can make part of MASH G.I. Joe. Now these little things do come off here, this little bag. See, it's, it's not too bad. There's a little hooks to hang stuff on. Might be able to hang a weapon or a rifle. You never know. Another thing I forgot to show you in the Rattler video was these parts. So you can make it look all shot up. I told you I had them. Just, they're somewhere in the room. <laughs> I do want to get the rest of the A-Team, but it depends on the price they're asking. <laughs> they make an awesome... I mean, again, if you change the figure, you know, 25%, which would be just giving them a whole new body. <laughs> Keep the head sculpt. There you go. That is how they do it. Mr. T's gun is on this guy. This is just one of my extras. I only have the other, I only have one of these, but that's another video. And I did get one of those when I was a kid, but I lost them with my parachute in a tree. And I guess someone took them. <laughs> I don't think I ever got them down. <sighs> so sad. Just like the, the uh, glider that we had. It was awesome. And, uh, well, my friend, he, he did die of cancer in, I think, grade 6. But I bought him it for his birthday in grade 5, and we threw it, and it actually hit a car, and that was gone. Bye-bye, Grunt. <laughs> so, yeah, I never had the Viper gliders either. Oh, it's a shame. And it sucked that my friend passed away so young. Throat cancer. Uh, I don't know what they're putting on those fields, <laughs> but, you know, all the old garbage dumps are hills. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, and remember, I'm in a lot of pain. I have to go and get a procedure done. <laughs> uh, something just flares up, but anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, just perfect time of the holidays to be in pain. Oh, and home remedies sure don't work. <laughs> So anyways, I hope everybody enjoys the videos and when I'm uh, up to it, I'll try to get some more made. Oh, it's just a pain in the butt is what I'm experiencing right now and it just happens to three out of four people. <laughs> Could have been something you ate or whatever, but anyways, I love G.I. Joe. I'm going to keep on building my collection slowly, but anyone out there wants to help out and donate, that's much appreciated. But I got four girls, so that's why I build my collection slowly. <laughs> Can't buy everything at once. Unless I win a lot of them, that's just not going to happen. <laughs> oh, I wish it would, but oh well. Thanks for watching, and...